hi everyone welcome to my another video today i'll talk about my fifa 20 team the season is ending tomorrow there will be an, another se new season from monday so i'm just giving my team for the last time in this video and uh, i hope you're gonna like my team and my video as well so this is my end of fifa 20 team it will be the legacy team next season so with this team i can play some events and some matches that's why i try to make my team stronger and as you can see my coin is very low otherwise i i could make it uh, stronger than this as i've got more skill boots and training xp is left but because of the less coins i couldn't do that as you can see i need two million coins just to claim this skill boost to, to 16 and this one is two million as well almost all of them needs more than one million but i don't have enough coins to upgrade them but it's all right i'm happy with my team as i've started uh, later than all the other players in this video i'll also discuss about my progress on i mean in this season so as you can see on my world tour i have completed 38 players like i've claimed and i've left few from legends 13 matches or less than 13 as you can see this was the last part and Sterling was the player I should have to claim but I didn't go to claim him less of because of my less time I couldn't give more than enough time to I mean in this game so Sterling left and on the last one I have left some few more I could play this by spoiling less now because I don't need these players or I don't need the I don't need to actually f complete this event and on the other hand my events I have claimed hazard As you can see there, I've claimed him. I could have played this, but I've stopped playing this maybe two months ago. Just when after I've claimed Hazard. Then from the squad building challenges, I have claimed Sancho from the but from advanced actually yeah as you can see i've claimed him and i had to spend loads of coins to claim him nearly more than 20 millions coins to claim sancho i couldn't claim zidane because I couldn't reach to FIFA Masters as you can see this one FIFA Masters divisions that's why I couldn't claim him but I don't have any regret about this uh, not to claim Zidane because I don't actually I mean I'm not being often but I don't actually like him in my team so I couldn't go there on FIFA Masters 
I did, didn't actually try much harder. I just tried few days when I was keep losing I just stopped playing uh, both uh, FIFA um or the safe the VSA attack or head to head matches so this is why Zidane is still I mean unclaimed for me in this season and I don't actually being sad for because of that I'm not sad for that for not claiming Zidane then i did on go for daiwala because you need to do some real life training and stuff so i don't really bother about him on the pre season i claimed fever i was i tried to claim suarez but i couldn't because i couldn't have enough pre-season points to claim him but I've claimed few other players like Tonali for next season if I can get him because I've got him from now and later events so I'll get Tonali then I'll get Gareth Bale I'll get Kolarov I'll get Ziyech and top 3 is was still unclaimable for me but it's all right it's good enough for me then if I'll go to stop pass I have managed to claim all of them. I have got Roberto Carlos in my squad, but in my legacy team I wouldn't have him because I've got uh LV L left back as Colaro as my left back. I used to have Canavaro, but I've changed him to Thiago Silva. I have got Best. He was very good, but I couldn't keep him in my squad because of that I I have got better players actually for from him than him then over there I didn't go to get them then if you'll see and not, nothing else left from my park points i have left few like i've left 1 2 3 4 four upgraded options i couldn't finish five actually because i've started late and my other league members didn't support each other much so I had to finish there. I have got very good I mean lots of players in my reserve team. I could have sold them but I didn't know that the market will be closed. Now the market is closed so I couldn't sell them. Otherwise I could make my team to 165 over all rated by so right so yeah this is my reserve team i could have got more like better players i could have in my squad but because they are on, not in the position so I couldn't I I couldn't keep uh, Roberto Carlos or Volland or Davies or Pianic in my main team my legacy team actually 
so this is my legacy team as you can see as i've showed you before i've got lopez goalkeeper he's to me he's one of the best goalkeeper in the season then i've got kolaro on my lv otamendi as my cv central back then thiago silva then dest as my right back is from usa he is the first marking player playing in barcelona team then zek he is actually rm but because i'm playing 433 attack formation i have kept him for as central mid and i've kept him on my team even out of position because of his pace he got very good speed and shooting rank is very good as well then i've got another player papa gomez he is central attacking midfield but uh, he is playing as my central midfielder in my team same as because of the speed and uh, to be honest i like him he is from argentina and another reason was that uh, he is holding the second striker skill boost and i've got four of them in my team with the same skill boots boost so for him then i've got left wing as hazard i've told you that i've got him from the hazard events his pace is very good as well and shooting as well and then i've got del pirio only one icon from the whole fifa of 20 season i've got him and i've kept him on my team still i could have got uh cr7 ronaldo bar i found him more comfortable with my, on my team so i've kept him then i've got garaf pain his pace is quite extraordinary as well then i've last i'll talk about lionel messi he is my central attacking mid his pace is quite good as well as 140 as you can see he was 102 i believe when i've purchased him but i've trained him to 109 so yes he's one of the key player in my team and yeah that's it actually for this season i hope all the other fifa players has got better teams as well this is my team from of last season as i could have get better team or made better team but because i have left earlier before the i've left actually march or june uh, march or april time when uh, 2019 i've left playing because of that i couldn't make my team better than this so this was my last season team i've got de gea ronaldo messi Messi and Ronaldo strikers left me midfield I have got Depay then Sergio Busquets and Rakitic on my central defensive mid as central attacking mid I have got Gomez then as right midfield I have got Dembele then i've got a uh, three central back canovero pk and sabic sabic i think yeah 
so that on that team i i had five B- B- Barca players so that's it this is my this this season team i hope you have liked my team thank you very much for watching the video i'll come back another time oh yes there's new season is uh, starting from monday so i'll keep updating with my team and uh, with new events and gameplay i'll get some more videos recorded and upload them in my channel so stay tuned thank you very much be safe and take care bye